Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're doing a video on a Carnival Ecstasy Cruise to uh, Cozumel and Yucatan review. Uh, this cruise here in the video was done, first started on October 1st, 2022. Um, we previously went on this same cruise in Oct uh, this March of 2022. So this was our second cruise on the same ship to the same destinations. First of all, I want to mention that uh, Carnival Ecstasy, the ship, is going to be decommissioned soon. Our cruise, um, and there was uh, two more cruises after that. Uh, the ship was heading for the scrapyard. So... We were one of the last uh, people to take a cruise on this ship. So uh, hopefully next year they will have a brand new ship. Possibly a bigger and more updated ship. But uh, this ship was uh, our favorite because... Uh, in March 2022, when we went on the cruise um, to Cosmel and Yucatan, this is the ship that I proposed to my fiance uh, in March. And then we, shortly after we returned, we booked another cruise in October. And this is the cruise that we're on with our friends, Brenda and Bruce, that we went with. Now, um... It's really pointless to give you a review of the ship because, of course, as I said, the ship would be dis decommissioned soon and it would be pointless to give you a review. So, uh, But far as Carnival goes, um, I find them to be a fun company to go with. Um, most of their, all of their cruises are have a reputation of being fun so as you can see on the ship they provide a lot of entertainment and um, of course the food is really good so uh, overall I would say Carnival is a very good company to go with if you want a economical cruise um, now uh, since we've been to Cosmo twice and Yucatan twice, uh, both times that we went to Cosmo, we did not go on any excursions. We The first time we went on the Cosmo um, offshore adventures, we uh, opted to hire our own taxi cab who drove us around and showed us around. And we basically... Uh, pay the cab driver about a uh, base price of around $87, but with tip, it was like more like $120. And he drove us basically around the area. He took us to a couple of tourist traps, a um, couple of places to go shopping and things like that. Um, but other than that, um, it was our first time, so a little disappointed, uh, but we also saved a bit of money because an, a ship paid a, a excursion would have cost twice as much, like $120 per person. So um, uh, there are many different kinds of ex excursions, but as far as when it came to Cosmo, we did not really do anything other than just look around um uh, some excursions include beach a day at the beach where food and drinks are included uh there are um excursions where you go to the other side of the island where there is a park where you can view um a beach ocean uh, a better view of the ocean and also there is a area where you can visit the Inca Mayan ruins and um, 
also you can go downtown where uh Cosmel downtown where of course there is more shopping and things like that but we stay pretty close to the port area there is a mexican uh, casino there hard rock cafe around the port area uh, mind you all of the tourist areas are a bit a little bit more expensive than of course uh going more inland where the locals live but um uh, we found cosmel to be a very pretty place to look around and go shopping and uh, things like that the real um place that i like uh, was yucatan where of course, you go visit uh, the many uh, Inca Mayan ruins. The first time we went in March, we went to the Chichen Itza um, excursion where we visit a, visited a uh, Inca Mayan ruin. Uh, it involved one pyramid and a little stadium area and a bunch of little souvenir shops. Also included in that excursion was a swim in a uh uh sonota sonota is a basically a uh large pond uh inside in the ground deep it's like a deep well in the ground and you uh walk down the steps and uh of course you wear life jackets and you float in the water and it's very calming, very peaceful, very lovely. Um, and then, of course, there was a buffet involved. We thought that was pretty good. But uh, the second time we went to Cozumel, we just walked around. We did not go on an excursion. We just walked along the shores or near the uh, port, enjoyed ourselves, sat down. The ladies got a massage. We went and got a drink. And basically looked around and enjoyed the views. Uh, we went to Yucatan and uh, we went on the Lazy River excursion, which I highly recommend. Uh, that excursion actually took you to a better Inca Mayan ruin area. It's like a, a couple of several uh, stone buildings with at least one very large pyramid where you can climb up all the way to the top on in which I that was like actually much better than the Chichen Itza uh, excursion also the lazy river excursion also took you through a sonata where you floated uh, in a very large pool uh, deep uh, down in the earth and then you also floated through like a channel underground in a more like a cavern type of atmosphere and it was very peaceful very lovely and you floated through um and uh it was very um much uh worthwhile to do um, so, uh, our second visit to Yucatan was much better, in my opinion. Um, if I had known that the Lazy River involved Inca Mayan ruins and all this and that, I would have uh, gone on this excursion the first time around. Uh, the Chichen Itza uh, excursion is like almost a two and a half, two hours, two to two and a half hour drive on a bus to get to uh this lazy river excursion was only about an hour and a half um bus ride and uh it i highly recommend the lazy river excursion over the chisney so one but anyway um as i said the carnival ecstasy will be this discontinued the excur uh that ship will be no longer in service um hopefully by uh 2023 they will have a new ship and uh 
the ship actually leaves the uh, Mobile, Alabama port. And if you live anywhere near there, I highly recommend leaving from that port. Uh, we've done it twice and we had no problems. It's uh, very convenient to get to. We live in Tennessee. It's only a six hour drive. Um, it's a pretty decent little town. So um, if you're looking to go on a cruise, I highly recommend that port. So, as you can see, the chit, uh, the um, Mayan ruins here that you see uh, is, is, in my opinion, a, a lot better uh, than the Chichen Itza one. The Chichen Itza one, they had a, one pyramid, and they would not allow you to even touch it. They wouldn't even not allow you to climb up the uh pyramid um and but the in this area this ruin here they allow you to as you can see climb all the way to the top so uh much better in my opinion if you want to really take in the sights and see more and do a little bit more this is the uh, better excursion than the Chichen Itza excursion. This is uh, me climbing up the steps to one of the smaller structures. And... Uh, You can see that uh, there's absolutely no one telling you what to do and what not to do. You can pretty much walk around the whole ruin area and explore it by yourself after you get a, a small guide guided tour. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have about cruises or this location these locations that we showed on the video uh, if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i will do my best to give you an answer thanks for watching everybody enjoy the rest of the video